students let us begin the fifth chapter now the food safety let's recall now complete the following chart with the correct information now in lower classes you have learnt about the different constituents of the food which are important for the body all of you know the six constituents of the food which are required by the body are carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins fiber and water now the food which contains all the six constituents that also you have learnt in lower classes now just recall the things which you have learnt in lower classes now with the help of that knowledge we can complete the table which is given over here now this table consists of three columns the first column is for the food or the source second column is the nutrient or the constituent which is obtained from that food and third column is the function of that nutrient in the body now we know jowar wheat millet and rice the main constituent of food in this food or the source is carbohydrates now the carbohydrates give energy to the body now second one is beans and pulses beans and pulses consist of the second constituent that is proteins and its function is to repair the wear and tear of the body now third one is oil and ghee consist of fats and these fats they give energy as well as they are also important for the growth of the body then next is fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables consist of vitamins and minerals these vitamins and minerals they are required for the body to function normally so thus we have seen that we get nutrients from the food material like rice wheat jowar pulses vegetables fruits etc now the question arises what will happen if these food materials are infested by insects or spoiled in any way now let us come to this example that this one let us see what happens when there is a food spoilage now from the figure you can see that in the figure a here this one the rats they bite the sacks of the grain and the wheat grains you can see they have come out then here you can see the person selling samosas and vada pavs so here also the chances of infects infesting the food is more now in this case you can see the lady vendor vegetable vendor surrounded by the flies and the mosquitoes and in such cases these vegetables they can be infested with the with the germs now here see the food lies remain around uh, like in a sack for a longer time so there are chances that they may decay or they may get spoiled now now so this is these all these things which are shown in the figure this we observe around us now let us see next what is what are the factors responsible for the food spoilage sometimes fruits or the skins their skins they turn black some food out, food stuffs give out of foul or a bad odor such food stuffs are not suitable for us to eat sometimes naturally available food materials are spoiled by wrong handling as when they are overcooked or improperly stored say in a damp place in such cases the quality of the food material deteriorates 
they may also be spoiled during transportation now can you give me some more more such examples of food spoilage now you can see that if large quantity of food is prepared in the weddings or in some functions then if that food is kept uncovered or outside the refrigerator for a long time then in that case also the food may the food gets spoilt another thing here this with the vegetables milk and uh, butter all these things should be kept in a refrigerator in order to keep it in a good condition for a longer time now the food stuffs we consume whether it is a whether of a plant animal or a plant source must be of best quality otherwise we may fall prey to disease or illness or in other words we call it as food poisoning now food is said to be spoiled if there is a change in color odor texture quality taste and there is a loss of nutrient content now color changes means here see if you buy bananas now when they are fresh they look yellow or green in color as they turn black then you have to understand that the color has changed and so there is a spoilage of banana now odor now if stale foods they their odor is bad or foul then texture texture means here for example any fruit if it uh, is kept for a longer time then the texture it becomes rough or dull then also the food is spoiled then quality quality means here the freshly prepared food or the fresh vegetables they always taste better uh, then there is uh, and whenever they, there are changes in this color odor texture quality taste then we say that there is a loss of nutrient content or that food is not fit for eating now on a day out with our friends or family we enjoy mouth watering dishes like pani puri shev puri pav bhaji vada pav pizza burger but have you ever thought to how or where they are made where they displayed and served hygien hygienically what was the source of water used for preparing them now if you observe this one stalls of all this uh, food then you can see that in most of the cases here the conditions are not hygienic even the water which is used for preparing them is not a pure is not a, a good water or it is it may be infected with the microorganisms then also here maybe sometimes the these food stuffs they are stale ones and you may not realize it also so it is necessary that whenever you go out for having all these things here you must be very careful to see if they are served in a hygienic condition now which now here see in the picture now these fruits are shown now in the fruits you can see the circled fruits they look fresh from the color we can see and from the texture we can say that the circled mango grapes banana and the apple here lower one they look fresh from the color we can make out and from the texture whereas this lower apple and the mango above they look their color is also not good and also the texture is not good so these here things good so these two fruits they are not suitable for eating now various kinds of changes take occur in a food material for example fruits turn black or change taste meat becomes sour or peanuts become rancid rancid means uh, this uh, 
it doesn't taste well or uh, you must uh, then all these changes occur due to the factors within the food materials now often food grains etc produced in farms they are damaged due to the various reasons now these various reasons they can be due to improper handling improper storage improper transportation etc now some of the food stuffs like uh meat and milk either are either acidic or alkaline they may get spoiled due to chemical reactions on contact with the metals sometimes food stuffs may be spoiled due to the contamination of microorganisms or insects from the surrounding now surrounding air water or soil so all these things here now we have seen how the what food it gets spoiled so food means in this part we have studied how the food gets spoiled and how to recognize whether it is spoiled or not now next we will see about the food wastage now we know that how and where the food is wasted now if you attend the weddings or some functions that you can see the people they take large amount of food in their plate and be without eating they just throw away so in such public functions large amount of food is wasted now with the help of science and technology india has shown great progress in the production of various food stuffs like cereals fruits vegetables fish as well as milk and milk product even though many in people in the country and all over the world they face hunger and they may not be they face uh, uh, hunger and they do not even get a meal at least meal in a day hence it is our duty to prevent the wastage of food wherever it takes place or if extra quantity of food is left after the weddings or the functions it should be distributed to the poor people on the roads or to the hungry people if they are need in the need of the food now next we will see about the quantitative wastage of food now wrong methods of farming like hand sowing of seeds inadequate threshing improper storage and wrong methods of distribution are some reasons for quantitative wastage of food besides much food is wasted as a result of the custom of offering and serving too much food to the guest at traditional feast or banquets had it not been wasted all this food could have met the needs of many others now this is about the quantitative wastage now next we will see what a, what is meant by the qualitative wastage of the food now qualitative wastage of food means what using wrong methods of protecting food then excessive use of food preservatives over cooking washing the vegetables after cutting them mishandling of fruits like grapes and mangoes miscalculation of the time required to transport food from producers to consumers are some of the causes of qualitative wastage of wastage of food now next we will see that what can you do to prevent the food wastage and spoilage now food wastage or spoilage it can be prevented by the following methods serve yourself only as much as you can eat second one avoid overcooking of the food third avoid throwing away leftover food reuse it in a proper way like if the leftover rice is there the next day you can make a fried rice out of it or vegetable fried rice you can make or some other thing you can add and make it more tasty and juicy then overcooking of the food should be avoided because the nutrients in the food they are 
also they are no more left in such overcooked food then the fourth one buy only as much grain vegetables fruits milk etc as you need avoid the temptation to make excessive purchases so whatever is required that much of amount only you must of food should be bought otherwise simply it will be wasted and the money will also be wasted as well as the food will also get spoiled then store grains and other perishable fruit stuffs like vegetables fruits milk etc using proper methods now you must have seen that the rice wheat dals and all sometimes some people they store for a year they buy and eat so in that cases such grains should be uh, stored by proper methods by using some chemicals or the injections are also available nowadays which can be put into this grain cans and stored for a year then perishable means what the things which get spoiled easily like the fruits vegetables milk fish meat it should be kept in a refrigerator then if you are buying the tinned food then check the expiry date of the bottle can uh, packed food and use within that time then or eat all the food that you have served yourself so whether it is at home or is or in a function or in some party serve that much food in your plate that which you can finish up so now next we will see what can we do to avoid use of fried grains as akshata and to prevent wastage of food during wedding feast now rice grains or dakshita they are here the, in hindus that is the tradition what they do they apply uh, kumkum to eat and dakshita are prepared out of rice and large amount of rice is wasted in that so in that case during the instead of using those rice grains if some other ritual is followed then lots of rice grain can be uh, saved now 16th october it is celebrated as the world food day so you have to work towards food security and avoid food wastage so i hope this is clear to all of you now let us stop here